Hello, my name is Ben Wellenreiter, and I'm an associate professor in the Middle Level Education Program in the School of Teaching and Learning at Illinois State University. In this faculty spotlight, I'll tell you a little bit about my professional background and my research agenda. I am a proud graduate of Illinois State University a few times over. I've got a bachelor's degree in secondary social science education. I earned my master's degree in school counseling at Bradley University, and I came back to ISU to earn my doctoral degree in curriculum and instruction with a focus on teacher education. While I was doing that, I spent 19 years as a middle school teacher focusing on seventh and eighth grade social studies, where I taught US history, civics, geography, and financial education. I'm currently in my seventh year here at ISU. I teach courses in lesson plan design, classroom management, social studies, teaching pedagogies, learning theory, and from time to time, I get the opportunity to supervise our clinical students and supervise student teaching. Today, I'm gonna to talk about one of my research agenda items, and that would be adolescent socialization in non-academic school environments. Broadly, my research area explores the social environments in which young adolescents interact. School buses, cafeteria settings, hallways, locker rooms, gymnasiums, bathrooms. These non-academic spaces where students exist are really important for us to understand as educators so that we can better serve our students. We take a holistic approach to student development in our middle level education program. My research agenda focuses on the socialization and the emotional, social and emotional growth that takes place in these spaces. Young adolescents and middle school is a really complex tapestry of a lot of things going on at the same time. We certainly do have academic exploration both inside and outside the classroom. While that's taking place, we have student social, physical, and emotional development. We have young adolescents changing relationships with their caregivers, with their peers, with the adults in their spaces, and we have student identity exploration. Students are, are exploring their own identities. All of this takes place throughout the, school, throughout the school day. Popular media has its thoughts on what young adolescent development looks like. Sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it's not. It's my goal to dive into these schools, to talk with students in these spaces about how they experience them. Peer relationships, relationships with authority structures such as teachers and supervisors, identity exploration, romantic relationships. These are all really important aspects of young adolescent development. When students come into our classrooms, they are experiencing a wide range of both positive processes and negative processes. As teachers, we need to understand these spaces and what happens there so that we can better serve our students. The spaces themselves, how they're constructed from an architectural standpoint, from an interior design standpoint, also play a really big role in what takes place in the spaces. Surveillance. One of the questions that I've got is to what extent does surveillance, both in person and technological surveillance, play in how young adolescents interact with one another. So we go into these spaces, we ask the students who live in these spaces, what works, what doesn't work, how can we improve our practices both within the classroom and outside of the classroom to better serve students? Why are these spaces important to think about? Better understanding these spaces works to improve the overall school climate. Bullying, social isolation, harassment, these issues need to be addressed. We address them by better understanding what takes place in these spaces. Understanding these spaces and their social interactions work to improve or sustain socially just policies and practices. Our goal is to provide the best, most inclusive opportunities and experiences for our students that we can. Understanding these spaces assists us as educators in better serving our students. The more that we know about how students experience their days, weeks, and months within middle school, the better we can serve them to help facilitate success and healthy, holistic development. 
Broadly, a deeper understanding of the dynamic nature of young adolescent development encourages us as a field in education and encourages society to embrace this really unique, dynamic, complicated, and fun to think about era in, in human development. So if you would like to talk further about my research or about my teaching, you're welcome to reach out uh, to me uh, at the email uh, address listed below. Thank you so much for listening.